What's up guys, Stryker here with Tactical Survival. Today I'm going to show you how to take some old bottle tops and uh, turn them into handy dandy little uh, capsules to keep your tinder and uh, some other things dry. They're small, they don't take up a lot of space, and they're very easy to make. <laughs> All right, guys, what we have here is a uh, couple of empty soda bottles. Size really doesn't matter in this case. Um, basically, what you want to do is go ahead and grab a blade of some sort. Make sure it's locked into place. And you want to cut the top of the bottle off. This cut doesn't have to be a good cut. And you throw that away. Take your next one, cut it. Some of them are going to be easy to cut, some of them are going to be hard. You want to keep your hands away from the blade. Now you're left with two bottle tops. Now one method is you can take a pair of scissors and you can cut around and cut around and cut around. Or you can take a coping saw, which is my favorite tool. And what you want to do is cut this but you want to leave about that much plastic up top. So just go ahead and cut that off. Some of these bottlenecks are pretty thick plastic. Alright, we got both our bottle tops cut off. Now what you want to do is take your blade, just go around the inside a little bit, and right on that corner. Try to scrape it off and make it smooth so that when you put a uh, when you put things in here like uh, the Vaseline soaked cotton balls or anything like that, it's not going to uh, it's not going to get snagged on anything. The outside you don't really have to worry about. Um, if you want to sand it down, you can sand it down real quick. I know what I like to do is just take it, just real quickly rub it on some sandpaper. Okay. Go around the inside once again, make sure that's all clean. Same with this one. You fit, you don't have to struggle. You want to take some crazy glue. Now, I recommend against using this brush. This brush sucks for this project. They have a gel. Loctite has a gel that they sell that works a thousand times better. But what you want to do is take this and go around the outside of the rim. And the reason I hate this type of crazy glue application is because you have to dip it and apply so much of it. Gets to be a pain in the ass after a while. But you want to go around make sure you get a nice thick bead of crazy glue on the bottom of this. You can use Loctite. You can use pretty much anything you want. Okay, once the crazy glue is applied, you want to apply some to the rim of your bottle cap. Obviously with your uh, with your other types of crazy glue applicators it's going to be a lot simpler. Then you just invert your cap, stick it on, press it down, and throw something with a little bit of weight on top of it. Hey guys, Stryker here with your survival tip of the day. Go out to the store, get yourself some uh, petroleum jelly. I like baby scented because it reminds me of my ex-girlfriend. And uh, just pull a glob of it out, smear it on your glove like that. Just rub it around, get your palms all sticky. I'm just kidding about the girlfriend thing. <laughs> Pick up a cotton ball, rub it around. You'll feel the petroleum jelly getting a little warm, that's all right. You want to put a little bit of pressure on it so it'll get in there. Nice before, with your cotton balls, you just open it up a little bit. It's a little bit sticky. Then you grab your flint. Your flint is the best tool to work with with these. What I like to do is actually hold it down to whatever I'm striking on. And then strike. And that thing will light up and it will burn for a while. It's perfect for getting your fire started. 
survival fire, campfire, a little fire in your backyard so you can roast marshmallows, whatever it is you want to do. All right, gave it a little bit of time, let these things dry nice and tight. As you can see, they're not very big. Good. Unscrew the cap. You can put whatever you want here. You can put small hooks, uh, a little bit of uh, light fishing wire, or, or if you want to use uh, some other ones. I personally personally like to stick these in here. These are the Vaseline soaked cotton balls. You really pack them in there. You can get three or four of them in there. And then when you put your cap back on, you get a nice little waterproof container. You can go ahead and stick that in your bug out bag or your little survival kit. And you got three fire starters right there. The rest of them get stored in a larger kit. This is an empty pill bottle that I found laying around, waterproof, airtight, so nothing's going to go bad.